limit on my part one, so I'll just continue now. Um, so, as I was saying, I think that these kinds of emotions uh, are something that we've done well in in kind of empowering ourselves to go beyond them. Perhaps not go beyond them, but to um, discover that we don't need to resort to them. Um, that we can ha have a kind of what I would consider higher thinking. Uh, I mean, in, in the sense of of thinking more about our goals in a more comprehensive manner than appealing to that kind of raw savagery or raw emotion that we could instead have. And in, in that kind of way do I think that we empower ourselves, that we kind of take our own our lives into our hands, I mean as much as we're capable of, is when we, we, we uh, kind of reject any part of ourselves that is not in line with our, our, our ideals or our wants or our desires and uh, through that we focus ourselves on the task, the task at hand. Um, kind of like power of the will. Um, but I think when we bring these kind of emotions back, I don't really think it's kind of like, uh, it's, oh, it's a slippery slope and we're just going to become more savage or, or that, oh, it's, it's, it's ruining society. Uh, these things are a menace to society, these kind of rituals. I don't think that's it. I just think that it's kind of a, sp a spitting on of um, human intellect, uh, modern intellect and 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 spinning on the um, the kind of uh, will uh, or 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 um, the identity of the individual. Um, I think it, it's it, it's equivalent of of um, of me, I guess, um, whether it be at home or out in public, just completely stripping my clothes and jumping up 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 and down and just yelling and and snapping at people uh, like like a grumpy uh, ape or, or, or an animal or something um, and I think well if anyone wants to do that I mean that's fine I mean as long as you're not hurting anyone but I think there is a reason for why people would find that very off and very odd and very annoying um, to see someone, uh, I guess the best word would be to humiliate themselves. That would be the first thought that someone would have. This person is humiliating himself. He is he is um, tarnishing his image, and I don't think it's it's so much about the image in the minds of others that is important here. But um, I guess the image, your self image, your own identity, and maybe if people give a, too much of a resurfacing of these emotions uh, they could start changing uh, who they are and I don't know if I, I don't know that maybe for some reason maybe this could be for the better um, but since I don't regard these emotions uh, and these impulses as being a good thing I'm inclined to say that it could you know be for the worse for, for an individual uh, because such powerful things like being part of a kind of violent meat orgy, um, I think those are among the actions that uh, change an individual. Uh, that that if someone is willing to take the kind of large step to doing something like that, um, I think that does cause a kind of shift in how the person uh, feels about themselves and how they feel about the reaction that they had during the experience and with others. So I guess that could be uh, the reason. Maybe I, I, I could think about it more and have have, a, have more um, causes to look, look down upon that or, or maybe to change my opinion of it. But right now it looks like uh, those are kind of the reasons or some reasons why I don't think that that's a good thing. Um, and that I, I would not respect what the artist is trying to achieve 
my um, now if, if if the art is a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, specifically about the use of animals now, because I haven't really been talking about the use of animals. I've been more to be talking about the 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 uh, spectator or the the uh, the person that is being involved in the art piece. For as for the animals involved, I find this um, very very cruel if these animals are alive during this process, if these are living cows that are being crucified and having their guts uh, split open, because I'm completely against, uh, as I've said in my one of my previous videos, I'm completely against um, the kind of treatment of animals as though they don't feel pain, as though they're, uh, they're like trees that can be cut down and split open. Um, I think that if he is willing to do these art pieces, and I don't encourage uh, the art, the, the, this 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 practice, just as I've as I've, I mean, I don't discourage it in a kind of legal sense. No, the government shouldn't let these people do this. Um, um, I mean, sure. I mean, if it falls under you know animal cruelty or, or something like that, if these animals are alive, uh, I uh, I don't. Think, I, I think I'm pretty sure there are laws against that kind of um, behavior, but you see that all the time. I think you know, in you know, one of those videos that you, Fred, uh, showed to us. Um, but anyway, that, not to complicate things, just to state it straight, like I am against this. If he is, if these people are using live animals for this, because um, you know, inflicting pain on other animals. Um, an even more intense pain on these animals uh, while they die slowly for your own entertainment or your own reveling in these uh, base emotions or these high emotions whatever bias you may hold um, is I think very uh, very very close to the epitome of, of, of selfishness of, of just complete disconcern about the well-being of those around you um, for your own ego. Um, and I've, as I've said in this previous video, maybe that's an off thing that I consider uh, them feeling pain uh, worse than, than dying. But I do acknowledge that if the animals are dead, you are not really being cruel to them, I guess, in a, a kind of experience uh, way. I mean, in an objective sense, maybe you can say, oh, well, you robbed the animal of its of a life that it could have had. I'm not really talking about that, but, you know, you could say that. So, hmm, talked about animals being used if they're alive. I talked about um, them being used as a tool for emotion um, I guess you know is it wrong to use dead animals um, for such a practice um, I mean dead animals aren't really animals they're uh, they're really they're they're not uh, they're no longer an active system they are um, inanimate as anything else is inanimate. So... Hmm. Anyway, I think I've said as much as I need to say.